Alright guys, welcome to another episode of S-Tuner. Uh, as you can see, they changed things up quite a bit. We got a new uh, startup screen sort of thing here. It's kind of a spotlight. Um, and the color is actually blue now instead of red. I don't know if the rest of the car will be blue off the start. But at least the uh, the engine bay is blue. Let's see. Oh, the car is a blue right from the start. Looks like it has some better reflections on the windows and stuff like that as well. Which is pretty cool. I guess that'll uh, allow for some better pictures. You know, always nice to see some improvement there. Uh, this episode will probably be pretty quick because there's not going to be a whole lot being done to it. Um, I'm basically making what I want my S13 240SX hatch to look like in around a year's time from now. Um, so, yeah, it's not going to be, you know, 100% accurate. But it is what I would like to see to see happen. Uh, what is TBO? I think that's new as well. I don't really know. But I'm going to go with style one because those are chooky skirts. And that's what I'm going to put on there. Um, and then our pig nose with lip. S13. Pig nose with lip. There we go. Rear bumper is the same. All right. Um, so basically I guess I should do a little backstory sort of thing on what actually happened with the car and how I got it. So, um, weirdly enough, this is the car I was talking about at my dad's work, uh, about two or three months ago or something like that. I, I made a video there saying that I might be checking out this car, the S13 for around 500 bucks because he only got it for 700 dollars um that didn't work so i went and i offered him 2500 for it and he wouldn't take it he said he was not selling it and he wanted it for his girlfriend so that was kind of disappointing you know whatever went on and um kept kept with whatever i guess i was doing looking for other part other, other cars um and then i come across ebay and i see this this S13 hatch with a pig nose and it has the the firefighter sticker in the window and my dad's a firefighter so I was like hey dad this looks an awful lot like the car that is in like the uh, 240 that was in your parking lot doesn't it and he goes uh no 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 first first I said hey dad is uh why did it do that what okay so, uh, first I said to my dad, I was like, Hey, Dad, is is the guy from work selling his 240 yet? And he goes, Oh, it's actually not there anymore, so he must have sold it. And at that point, I showed him the ad, and I was like, This looks awfully similar to it. We looked at the plates, the plates were the same. Um, same plate number, same uh, sticker in the windshield, and we were like, Well, that must be it. So he's asking for 3500 for it which is quite a lot i mean the car is in quite a good condition but still 3500 for that uh it was a lot of money so we we talked to him my dad uh, got in touch with him and um like he went to go and check the car out and he was still in his fire uniform because it was over by his fire hall for for sale and the guy selling the car wasn't actually the guy from my dad's work it was uh one of his friends that owns a car shop. So he put that up. It wasn't supposed to go on Kijiji, which is where I found it. Um, so I guess I just got lucky in finding it. And the guy goes, when my dad got there in his fire uniform, he goes, something weird is going on because the car used to be parked at your fire hall because it has the, the, the fire hall number on the uniform, obviously. Um, so yeah, it was just a weird experience altogether for everyone involved. But after about three months of wanting it, I finally ended up getting the the 240 that I was looking at three months ago or whatever. Um, and I've been looking for one for over a year now. Just just I guess the moral of the story is wait, and you will find one eventually, I guess. Um, but yeah, also he dropped the price down from 3,500 to 2,000, which is pretty awesome. There it is. I was looking for the roof spoiler the whole time. I was telling that you can't even see it whatever and then I finally found it there uh, let's go ahead and do our wheels I ordered my XXR 527 yesterday 
I don't think they have XXR, but they have... I think they're based off the Incurve ICS-10 or something like that. Something similar. I don't know which wheels will look, look like them. Those look like MB Battles. I want to find these specific looking wheels. I guess CR Kai is sort of similar to them. I mean, they don't look too off. So we might just throw CR Kai on there, or the Kais, until, unless I can find them within a little, not Meister, what am I looking at? I don't think I'm going to be able to find them without going through every single wheel. So we'll just throw the Kais on there. And then complex tires, wheel width of 11, just to get a little bit of stretch on there. And then on our front, well, we have no dish at all, but the... No, not, I don't want to do that. We have uh, concave on both of them, not outwards. Inward concave, we have quite a lot of concave on these wheels, so they look pretty... They're, they're basically deep dish without deep dish, if that makes sense. And they're 17 inches, so we'll drop that down. Our tire width... Will be... 225 our tire profile on the other hand will be around 35 oh I just realized that's editing the front and not the back okay whatever we'll have to edit the back just a little bit shouldn't take too much in the front I mean in the back we'll do negative four I'm not gonna have this much camber on it it's just I'm going to do that for the S-Tuner build here. Just so we can get a, uh, a nicer looking build. I don't want to put stupid amounts of camber on my car. I'm going to lower it, obviously, but I'm not going to be stancing it out or anything like that. And then let's do the suspension. I don't know why an S-Tuner, the wheels look so small in comparison to what they are in real life. Rotate it forward. That was way too low. I don't know what I was doing there. That looks pretty decent. Let's go ahead and go back to our wheels and move the front axle forward a little bit. And our rear axle looks pretty pretty straightforward there. So that's basically it for body modifications. Our engine is just a stock K24. I would love to turbo it though. Hopefully within the year I'll be able to. Uh, let's open the open up our engine so the intake is not on that side but okay yeah I'm pretty sure they're flipped and it's also it's not eh well they won't have it let's just go ahead and boo it do a uh... I don't think they have a K in here so let's go ahead and build ourselves a SR20 that's way too high do that um, exhaust manifold that's what we're on SR20 actually yeah I gotta go with the SR20 why did I check type 2 it's type 1 there we go and then our front dress will be number two or number one I did anyway whatever it doesn't matter won't even see the engine I'm not gonna bother painting it I don't have a cutout in the hood or anything um, our interior is fine the way it is let's go to our car colors I mean it's a black car oh these reflections look really nice much better than before I like that I like that quite a bit and then our wheels are also black but they're chromium black so they've got a little bit of a shine to them There we go. I was wondering why it was not looking the number one. There we go. So that's kind of how I would like it to be in a year's time or so. Shouldn't be that much. I mean, I already have the lip. I have the fog lights, but there's no fog lights in S-Tuner. Uh, the wheels are on their way. 
I've got to get myself the skirts, exhaust, taillights, and then the, uh, the spoiler. Type X spoiler. These are... This is going to be the biggest investment. Well, actually, the wheels are probably more... Yeah, the wheels... The rims together... Uh, all together came out way more than the Kuki taillights. It came to about 800. Was it 800? No, I think it was around 700 for for the wheels. And then uh, I still have to buy tires for it and get suspension. But all together, it'll be fun. I'm liking it so far. Um, I get my full driver's license in January, so I have two months... Two months yesterday, I could I couldn't go for it, so I don't have a lot of time left before I can actually drive this on the road, and I can't wait for that. So thank you guys for watching. I will be coming back for more as always, and I'll see you guys next time.